Hello, Legion. It's Hadrian. Thank you for being here. Let's play some more of the Long Dark in our Against All Odds series. We have just returned and dropped some guts on the floor. We're pretty tired, but thankfully we are very well fed at the moment. And I have some cooked bear meat on me as well. Can't eat too much of it because we're already at 4% risk of intestinal parasites. And I don't know about you, but that's about as high as I like to push it. You can get it up to, it's either 8 or 10%. See, I so rarely go above 4. I so rarely push it. The first thing you eat that has a risk is 1%, then the second thing you eat will put you to 4, and I, I almost never go above that point. So, we are well fed, thankfully, on account of all of that mess, and uh, I've got plenty of water too, which, as I've said before, is good for two reasons. One, because it actually quenches my thirst, but also because as I drink it, before and after I sleep, it'll get rid of a lot of weight. So, in my crazy chaotic imagination that is somehow a good thing so let's go ahead and sleep for again we're not going to get 10 hours sleep out of this i'm hoping we don't wake up to a blizzard because the weather's been pretty good and you know what that means in the long dark okay i hear yep that would be a blizzard it's like i've played this game before okay so yeah, food-wise, I'm still 100% okay. There is still a lot of meat left out on that bear. I believe there are also some guts. Not a ton of them, but there are some guts. We got the guts here from the from the deer. I'm going to move that so it's a little bit clearer that there are two. All right, so let's take a look at what we're carrying. It's mainly the bear meat that's weighing us down, and of course the books that I have yet to read. So one thing I could definitely do right now especially given that I have that extra food and I have a box of crackers too, is I can read. I'm snowed in. Why not go ahead and read for a little while and get some of these other books taken care of? So let's see. This Frontier Shooting Guide is a four-hour read. Let's go ahead and just read that straight through. Done. Okay, we're going to drop that. Not even going to keep it for burning because I have so many books laying around for that purpose and I will find more. Just need to get rid of the weight. Now, how are we doing otherwise? I could probably do that again and be okay. Let's go ahead and drink some water to make sure that that doesn't become a problem. But then we're just going to read the next one. Now, hunger is going to be cutting it close. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a nice amount of rifle skill out of that, and that's... Oh. I know, Jennifer. Hold on, hold on. I got you. I got you, girl. So, now, what's our risk of intestinal parasites? Still 4%. I'm going to wait on eating that bear meat. However, I will go ahead and chow down on these crackers first. That's going to reduce my thirst, but that's a, or rather, increase my thirst, if you want to look at it that way. Reduce the thirst meter. Increase the thirst meter. Well, both are... Okay. Both of, both of the descriptions are technically correct, depending on your perspective. You're going to find that a great many things depend... No, what's the line? A lot of the truths we cling to, a great many truths that we cling to, depend greatly on a certain point of view, or your own point of view. The Obi-Wan line from episode four. I don't remember the... I'm ashamed of myself for not knowing the exact line. And I know you guys will quote it in the comments. Whether or not you know it off the top of your heads, you'll go up, you'll go out, you'll look it up, and you'll bring it back. That's why I love this Legion. So, let's see. It seems like the weather's died down a bit. So, that might be a good excuse to go out and try and get some more done. Especially if I'm reasonably confident there are no furry woodland friends around. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's... Where's my cooking... Oh, yeah, cooking pan is by the other fire. I've got to pick that up. I did definitely watch towards the end of the last... Oh, hello. Hang on, let me turn my volume way down. I was like, why is it so loud right now? Also, let me put my headphones on both ears. <laughs> For those of you who weren't reading the comments section, this is a weird tangent, but since I just mentioned that, I feel like I... Hey, there's some deer. I could totally shoot some of those right now. Um, this came up in the comments, and it was really funny. The episode where I was hunting the deer or hunting the bear, two episodes back. You might recall that there was a moment where the bear was in plain view and you could hear it on the left, but I just wasn't acting as though I could hear it. And someone called me out on that in the comments section. Funny story. I 
in every game that I record for the channel, because the Long Dark is the only one that requires me to have use of both earpieces, I only have one headphone on so that I can more clearly hear any noises that might occur outside of my recording space. Uh, if I like shift in my chair and there's like a creak either on the desk or somewhere around me, or if something falls in my space around me, like I can just have a sharp ear for those noises and edit them out. But with the long dark, I need to obviously have both earpieces in. And uh, for half of that episode where I was hunting the bear, I did not have my left headphone on. So if you're wondering how I missed such obvious audio cues, there you go. And it was so funny because I didn't think of that until someone called me on it. I was like, that makes total sense because it was my left ear that was uncovered. So it was just fun little, uh, little bit of story time that we had in the comments. All right, let's see what's in this car, maybe. No, we're not going to Desolation Point, don't worry. I just, I wanted to make it all the way out here while I could. I feel like I just heard something behind me. Nope, okay. Only a little bit nerve-wracking. And there we go. Voila. Let me take a peek out this way just to see what else might be on the ice. So it's pretty damn cold. I mean, as you would expect, it's getting dark. So we're not going to hang around for long. Or I might just go back inside. I've got food that I can eat. Just not a lot of it at this point. I need to be careful. I need to go get more bear meat. I need cooking five so that I can not worry about that ever again. We're at cooking four, right? Yes. But we just got cooking four last episode. So we have a lot of cooking to do and a lot of killing to do before we get to cooking five. Then I can kill all the bears and all the wolves I want. And there will be no problem. Speaking of that, and speaking of comment interactions, another thing that came up that is relevant to how things are going in the series right now uh, is, you know, is it smart to be using the Quonset as a base? You know, normally on especially stalker settings where there are tons of wolves, you wouldn't use the Quonset as a base because wolves are everywhere. And so I've gotten a few questions about that, like, isn't the Quonset maybe not the not the smartest place to, to have a base? And in this particular case, you have to remember that our custom settings have lower respawn rates for wildlife. So once the threatening wildlife in the area are dead, it takes longer for them to come back. So that's a win, in my estimation. I'm going to look around here to make sure there's nothing randomly hiding around the house. Okay, well... I kind of feel like the smart thing to do is just to hang out here a little while longer. I don't have a ton of food. I really don't. I've got cattail heads and I have bear meat. And until that goes away, I can't really eat more of the bear meat. And I don't want to lose my well-fed buff. So we're going to be gambling just a little bit here. I can probably go ahead. I'm pretty sure the intestinal parasites risk lasts for a full day. So if we sleep through another night, it should be gone, and I can eat two full bear steaks and be good. If I'm wrong about that, I might just have to risk eating one of the bear steaks <laughs> and pushing my intestinal uh, parasites risk up to the point that I was deliberately talking about avoiding. So I can probably read for a bit here. What else can I read? I've got a fishing manual. I definitely need to read a fishing manual. Uh, we haven't found the revolver yet, so it's not really directly useful to me. Immediately useful would be the proper thing to say. It's not immediately useful or important for me to have a revolver skill. But I'll tell you what, let's go ahead and read for an hour if the game lets me. Perfect. Barely squeezed that in before it got dark. Oh, it seems like the wind's quieted down a bit. You know something? If it's that, if it's that calm outside... Because it sounds really calm right now. Let's go take a look. It might be foggy. That's my worry. But we still have a bear to hang out with and get more meat from. Oh yeah, that's super calm. I do have to remember that I'm giving off a bit of a stink. 
However, there are deer where I feel like there were wolves before, so perhaps I have scared off and or killed some of the wolves. I don't think I've killed every wolf in the area, so I'm still going to have to have my head on a swivel. There it is. That's what I wanted to see. We have no more risk whatsoever of intestinal parasites, so I'm going to eat this gamey bear meat. And then how much more room do I have? Uh, this might seem a little bit counterintuitive, but I'm going to go ahead and eat this tiny one. It's going to give me more risk, but I just I want to get rid of it. So yeah, now we're up to four. That's not exactly a, a great uh, calorie to punishment ratio. I gave myself three percentage of, of intestinal parasite risk for 96 calories. But that was potentially adding to my stink. And by the way, I don't have a scent anymore, so that's good too. I don't know what condition I'm going to find this bear in, to tell you the absolute truth. Or if I'm even still going to find it, it's possible that it despawned during that blizzard. The rules for how long corpses last and what causes them to last are somewhat nebulous. Oh good, it's still there. Which is what I suspected, I just wasn't 100% sure. Again, I, I really, despite my many, many hours in the long dark and many, many hours on the long dark on YouTube, bears are things I typically, I'm like, oh, there's a bear. I'm going to go on the other side of the map now. Cool. All right. Have a nice day. That's my typical response. Which is not to say that I don't see the, the merit in being a little bit more cavalier. But playing on this difficulty level, I just don't want to take, you know, really brazen risks like that, you know? It's not something that is... not something that seems wise to do. Okay, there have got to be some limbs in the area. That snow shelter's still there. That's hilarious. Probably needs repair at this point. So I've got enough sticks where I can probably relight the fire. And that's right, I've still got some... Where's my cooking pot? Right there. Right where I left it. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Oh, you can. Why did it just start sizzling? That was the wrong noise. Oh, that's funny. All right, so the carcass is completely frozen. But, okay, there's one of the wolves. I knew you were still around. I knew it. I really did. Okay, let's take care of this guy real quick. This is a hopefully fairly easy shot. He's walking right toward me. That's not smart. Not walking towards me because he knows I'm here. Walking towards me. Maybe he does know. <laughs> really? That missed? Well, that's a lot of rifle rounds gone. How did that miss? I mean, I guess I'm kind of tired, so that's going to affect it somewhat. But... I should just kill wolves in the more traditional Hadrian way, I guess, which is to aggro them and then shoot at very close range. That would be the smart thing to do until I'm completely accustomed to the new shooting mechanics. I've had some good shots this series, but obviously the way we aim is is different now than we've all been accustomed to. The sights are completely, completely new. Five feet wide, etc., etc. <laughs> oh. All right, well, I've got... Got enough. What was that? Okay. We're gonna use a cattail head. We're gonna use wooden matches. I don't have a. I should have brought one of the books with me. That would have made a lot of sense. Why don't we go ahead and use a little bit more lamp oil? Right, now we're talking. Oh. Okay, so ideally while that fire is burning, 
And I mean, I'm kind of repeating the same cycle from the last episode. I know. I don't mean. I don't mean to. Too, I don't mean to be too repetitive here. But we need to harvest this corpse. I do need to go get more wood for this fire. Let's tr let's try again on this wolf. I've got to figure out what it was about that that caused me to miss. I might actually aggro him this time just to make sure we get him. Yeah, I know you're cold. Oh, he's coming for the meat. You can smell it. Sorry. Except I'm I'm really not, to tell you the truth. Considering I was doing that for my own safety. Alright, we're not gonna worry. I mean I could get the wolf hide off of him, I guess. He's right there. May as well, so I don't lose it. Alright, got hypothermia risk because it's bloody cold. Hopefully the fire will be enough to warm me back up, maybe? Yes, it is. Good. Feels like 37 degrees, so it's not that warm, but it's good enough. Alright, so there's an hour left on this fire. Alright, the hide is currently not giving me too much of a, uh, of a smell. So I want to go out and look for more twigs. Anything that I can burn. Anything at all. I mean, this this slope is not likely to have. Yeah, that's the other thing, though. I can't leave this fire. Or I'm going to start losing health. I mean, I've got full health, so I guess it's not that big of a concern. But how unfrozen is the bear, by the way? Already half unfrozen. Good. Excellent. Okay, well, I'm just going to kind of walk along the roadside here until I see some potentially useful wood. I know I looked up here already. Let me triple check. I'm also getting pretty tired. So I don't know. I might just have to stick with the fire that I've got for now. I'll bet you there's a little bit more wood laying around here if I look carefully. I don't rest soon, I'm gonna faint. You will probably be okay. Jennifer, if you just trust me, I think you'll probably be okay. All right, let's go back with the fire. Yeah, I'm just going to have to go with the fire that I had, with the sticks that I had, and bring more fuel with me next time I come. That's just the way it's going to have to go. Okay, it looks like that's done. As is that. All right. Now, I don't really have enough time left to do anything except maybe make some water, except I don't need to. So, one thing I could do is heat up some coffee. That takes five minutes. And that'll help me get warmer faster. Now, apparently, from what I understand... These warming effects stack. Which I haven't necessarily known before. So... Not only am I getting some calories out of drinking this coffee and replenishing my thirst. Alright, let's pick both of these things up. But I am stacking the extent to which I am warming up from drinking that stuff. I mean, I know they each give a certain amount of warmth back on the meter, but as far as how much they warm me up over time... And that gave me some energy back too, which is nice. Okay. I, I wish I could do more with this fire, but I really can't. So I'm just going to take a torch and I'm going to walk. And we're going to head back towards the Quonset. Because we still have more of this place to explore. And I do... See, I want to get more bear meat. But I don't... We've got the hide. The hide is arguably the important part. Right? And since we have the hide, and it's curing over at uh, that house over there. Oh no, it's actually curing at the house up here. The guts are curing over there. Since we have the hide, I kind of want to keep going to the other spots in Coastal Highway. As many of you know, my style of play in the Lawn Dark, especially on high difficulty, is mobility. 
I really do have to continue moving until the entire world is scavenged. And then you can change your strategy somewhat. Become a bit more sedentary, even on high difficulty, because you kind of know where you might be able to go to beachcomb or to hunt or to fish. Fishing, of course, on these difficulty settings is somewhat problematic. It takes a lot of effort <laughs> to catch a single fish. I have a little bit more reading to do, so I might do that before the end of this episode and get rid of... Oh, hey, there's a wolf. Right in the middle of the road there. I think I just heard one to my right, actually. Really? Fine, buddy. You want to tango? Let's tango. <sighs> well, fewer wolves to deal with now. That, uh, that felt oddly poetic, given where we just killed that wolf. Very close to where we were killed by a wolf in Season 5. Not Season 5.5, .5, as we're playing now, but in the original run here. What was that? I feel like there's something else around. I'm hearing things. Yeah, that sound is definitely an owl. Somebody pointed out in the comments that that noise that I think is a wolf running from me is actually an owl. That's a good point. <laughs> That's definitely a bird. I can hear it now that I'm actually listening to the noise. And only slightly freaked out that there's something nearby. All right, so I can skin that wolf that I just killed a moment ago, so we'll go back out and get that. Hang on, let's run in here. and drop this wolf skin on the ground. Now, I am reasonably warm still. What am I carrying that's making me stinky? Oh, bear meat, duh. Well, I can drop that in the snow out back here. That would explain why, uh, Wolves were coming right toward me. Even though it's cooked. Carry enough of it on you, and... Okay. Okay. That answers my question. There is another wolf around here somewhere. I just don't freaking know where. Here's how this is gonna go. We're gonna walk over here, because I think this car, this red car... Either that or that car I just walked past is where that granola bar is that I left behind before. And I need a little bit of food. Just as a top-up. Just as a top-up. Just a little bit. Is that a corpse? No, it's not a corpse. There you are. Nobody needs this anymore. Good condition, too. Alright, let's check the glove box. Because evidently I didn't before, like an idiot. Um, I don't know. Was there... I feel like I might have been right the first time... about the car that it was in, though, so there might be a granola bar in both cars. But before I check, I'm gonna step up on this slope. See if I can spot my buddy. Okay, I'm not going back out to skin that wolf. That is... That is a fact. That's not happening. Ladies and gentlemen of the Legion, that is not going to occur. But, oh, there he is. 
Hey! I found the other wolf. Okay, so this is... Okay, there's that magnifying lens, I knew about that. Alright, so I was wrong. Or I was right, I guess. My second guess was wrong. Okay, he's walking away. So we're probably going to have to take him out, but we're going to have a good number of wolf pelts, which means we could make some, uh, some wolf skin equipment. Now, we already have the um, expedition parka, so technically there's an argument that I don't even need it. But still good to have, just in case. So let's step inside here. And I will go ahead... I'll, I think I'll rest, but I'm going to go ahead and stop this one here before I do any more reading. Let's drink up. They're going to sleep for as long as the game will let me. And I should very soon be able to consume more of that bear meat, which I left outside. Okay, and on that note, I'll stop this one here. In the next one, we are going to go get those wolf hides. We are going to finish reading. I believe these books here are the ones that I've already finished. Yes. So, oh, I do have some firewood here. That's good to know. I forgot I'd left that there. So, we could use that potentially for going and getting the rest of the bear if the bear lasts again you know it might just disappear on us at some point but i don't want to get held up by that one bear carcass it is a lot of meat but there's plenty of other food to be found and i want to make sure mainly as i was beginning to say earlier that we continue moving so that's going to be the focus for the next episode or two thanks for watching if you enjoyed this one don't forget to like the video and subscribe to follow along new episodes are coming out every day at 1 p.m feels so good to say that again 1 p.m u.s eastern time comments are always welcome let me know what you think and i'll see you next time